My name is Mallory Harris. I'm a PhD candidate in the Mordecai Lab in the Stanford Department of Biology. And today I'm going to talk with you about my work thinking about how dengue cases are going to change with global warming. Dengue is a vector-borne disease. It's transmitted by mosquitoes and it's spread mainly in trop tropical and subtropical parts of the world where it is a leading cause of death. Now, we expect that dengue transmission will change with climate change because the mosquitoes that spread dengue are super temperature sensitive. So there have been lab experiments looking at how various mosquito traits vary with temperature. Um, things like bite rate, development time that all contribute to transmission. And you can see here for the two main vectors of dengue, that transmission increases with temperature. It reaches this peak around 26 or 29 degrees Celsius. Um, and then past that point, you actually see transmission start to decline. However, these are results from a lab um, on mosquitoes alone. And what we're really interested in is what this means for human, right? How many cases and deaths would you get with at different temperatures? So um, for this project, we collected data um, at the province level, monthly case counts across 22 countries. Some of our time series go back to 1993, others are only a couple of years long. And then we used a panel regression approach, which lets us look at anomalies in dengue versus anomalies in temperature. So what we're trying to get at here are actual causal estimates. How many more cases of dengue do you have with a one degree Celsius temperature change? For the first step of our analysis, we got a global estimate of the relationship between dengue and temperature. Um, and you can see that there's this nonlinear relationship peaking at 29 degrees Celsius, which is really close to what we would predict based off of mosquito biology. However, if we break things down a little bit between the countries, we see that countries with lower health spending have a flatter relationship. That means that you have less temperature sensitivity and other factors might be more important in driving whether you get an epidemic. So our next steps on the project are to, first of all, look at other factors that might be changing the dengue temperature relationship. Second, looking at how dengue transmission might shift across space. And finally, looking at um, estimating how many cases of dengue you would have under different warming scenarios. So here's my contact information. I'd love to thank the ARCS Foundation for funding this project. And thank you for stopping by to listen to it. And feel free to reach out if you have any questions.